Let me walk you through the control settings on your FLX28 to get you out there and get you fishing. It's not that difficult to master. In fact, with only three quick adjustments of your knobs, you can be fishing. The first thing, keep your gain down low. Second thing, make sure you're, you're on the N or normal setting in the mode switch. And third, <laughs> simply turn the system on to auto. It'll automatically display your, your battery status. The digital depth now is 6.6 .6 foot and you're in the outer range setting of 10. Boom, let's go fishing. It's that simple. The beauty of the FLX28 is its automatic capability. Now I can fish, but it has a lot more capabilities than that, of course, and let me walk you through some of those features. One, it has 20 steps of interference rejection, um, and you access that by simply tapping the gain knob, and it'll say IR setting number five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can do this if you knock off, it'll knock off the interference from other anglers around you to give you a clearer display. Note that the system will select its own interference rejection setting based on the environment that it's in by itself. So you very seldom have to use the IR setting anymore with the FLX28. Another nice feature of the system is the night mode. And uh, the night mode is simply you press the gain knob and hold it and it shifts to night mode. And, uh, and you press it again, it'll turn it back to day mode. When you're ever in a low light situation, you'll really appreciate the ability to power down the lights because it can be quite intimidating sometimes uh, with those super bright LED lights. Um, there's some other features that you use the gain knob for and I'll get to that a little bit more, a little bit later. Um, in the mode setting now, the mode switch uh, controls a lot of the, the, the fancier features. One is the auto zoom or AZ setting. What this does is it'll split the screen in half and it'll show the entire water column on one side and the just the bottom six foot on the left side. Uh, really nice feature, works extremely well uh, for deep water anglers and perch anglers, they just love it. We also have the AZ-12 uh, setting for the bottom 12 foot of the water column and then we have the uh, demo mode. Now this is something kind of cute. I, I don't know if you've seen this or read about it yet, but it's pretty cool to see. Uh, when you set it to the D setting, it automatically starts up an example of an actual fishing scenario. Uh, in this case, this is your lure going down here on the right side. The white line will always be here for zero. The other white line here is, it signifies the bottom. And this is a fish looking to get caught right there. And what it'll do now is it'll split the screen in half and show you what it looks in auto zoom mode. Uh, here and we're in 17 foot, 20 foot range, gives you the digital depth. But now when you split it, see how it compresses the entire signal now just to the right hand side of the display. This is now your lure going down and that's a fish there. On this side, see how much more it magnifies everything? That's where everybody loves the auto zoom feature. It blows up the display so it's much more uh, easier to see what's going on. In this case, a fish is just about there and whoop, he swallows it, you got him. It's that realistic. Uh, and it, it's a lot of fun to play with the demo mode, especially when there isn't any ice yet and you want to look at something. Uh, the normal setting here um, is what you'll use most of the time when you're fishing, uh, but be aware that the moment you go into low power, uh, you run the risk of losing your digital depth. Um, and it'll say low power, and it's not uncommon because of the weak bottom signal, if you're, in, like in this case, I'm in a weed bed, uh, soft, mushy weed bed, it'll go zero depth, 300 foot, zero depth, 300 foot. And that means that's 100% accepted. That's not a problem with the unit. It's simply because the, the auto ranging and the digital depth key off of bottom hardness. And if you lower the power so much, you can't find bottom. So you wanna make sure you're aware that this will default and go out. Now, what do you do when this depth doesn't find bottom? You simply use the manual ranges down here to lock it in. In this case, we'll just lock it in at, at, at range 10. So you'll lose your digital depth but you already know you're in 10 foot of water or less, as you can see here. Now I can fool the system technically in the auto mode system by turning up your gain and it'll lock it in on the signal. The problem is, is that maybe it's gonna be too blobby and too icky to do that. So you don't wanna turn up your gain that much in shallow water. That's the reason you're using low power is you can keep the gain down low. So when you do that, you oftentimes will lose your, the digital depth and the auto ranging feature. Uh, so be aware of that. Uh, use manual ranges when this occurs. Now, then you have the color select option. Now, this is very nice uh, for even guys that are colorblind. Um, you can adjust the color palette and by touching the gain knob. This is where we bring the gain knob back into play. By pressing it, it walks you through 
the different color palettes. And you go through and try which one you like the best. It's all a personal preference. There's even a setting for colorblind guys in there. Uh, I like the one that knocks out the green or the weakest signals because a lot of times I don't want to see weeds. I don't want to see small fish. I only want to see the strongest signals directly below me and I can knock out the different color palettes. So experiment with these colors. I mean, it's a lot of fun and, and people get into big debates upon finding which color is right for them. Uh, and usually the system comes on with a um, color setting of four when you buy it from the factory, but uh, just be aware of that. Um, now let's go down to the, um, the auto ranging feature also has the ability, if you want to go into weed mode, um, all you simply do, and weed mode is a, uh, a lesser version of low power. It's designed to shorten the pulse length to give you better clarity in weeds. So to do that, you simply push in the gain knob and turn the system on. Now you're in weed mode. Uh, in weed mode, uh, it gives you a little bit sharper, crisper signal. It doesn't work well in deep water scenarios. It's primarily designed for depths of 20 foot or less, but that's the weed mode feature. And that's also another bonus of the FLX 28. So in summary, again, if you want to start fishing right now, all you have to do is remember, keep your gain down low, be in the end for normal mode and simply turn your system on. It'll do everything else automatically. Put it in the water and we're ready to start fishing. That is how to master your FLX 28. Bingo. These are, are crappies. The uh, bottom is here. A lot of people wonder how they use a Vexilar. It's really quite simple. This is my lure going down. I keep my gain as low as possible. And I, the ideal scenario is that these fish will react to my lure coming down. And as they see my lure coming down, they'll strike. Let's, let's hopefully they're going to be biting today. I don't know. This is the very first drop on the very first hole. So let's see. You always want to stop your bait above the fish, like you see here, and you start jiggling like this. Now the, the other lines you see around my lure are the lines from my actual monofilament because it's a little kinky yet and it hasn't gotten a lot of uh, the kinks out of it, but it'll eventually straighten out. The goal is, is to get one of these, these red lines to come up and bite my bait. Now, obviously, they haven't bitten it yet, so that's not a good sign of, a, of the fish that are really aggressive. But what I'll do is I'll continue to jiggle my lure violently. Now, these are air, actually just little air bubbles and things creeping up through the water column. You don't wanna, you wanna avoid looking at even that if you can. And just focus on my little lure. Now, I'm gonna darken it up a little bit here. Uh, I'm gonna change the color palette. Maybe it might be easier for you folks to see it if I change colors. Uh, let's try a color. This is your traditional. The advantage with the 28 is you can adjust different color palettes. And, uh, and so what I'm doing here is picking one that, that I think you guys might be able to see well. This is your classic Vexilar. The green signals signify a weaker signal or a signal on the edge of the sonar uh, cone viewing area. Uh, the yellow is a little bit stronger signal and the red is of course my lure in this case. And of course all the fish that were down there are gone now. So I'm just going to kind of go down into the water column a little bit. This is my bait, just going down into the water column. And the coils of my line, I don't know if you can see this, but my line's got kind of a coil to it. The, the FLX28 is so sensitive, it can actually pick up these coils on my line. So um, until it straightens out a little bit, you might be see these little marks. But I'm only focused right now on the red line. If I see a red line, or and so I'll just start jiggling it in the water column. We're in 27 foot deep here, so I'll start at seven to eight foot off the water, off the bottom here, and just start working my way up, see if anything reacts. And it looks like nothing does. So the fish here uh, were not working. So that means I just simply reel up and take off to another hole. 